Today I'll show you the easiest free method to get unlimited professional email IDs like this which you can use with your Gmail account and we'll see how we can send bulk emails to our customers using these custom emails. Now the first step is to get a domain name. If you already have a domain, you can skip this chapter and move on to the next one. I'll go to this website. Also, don't worry, the steps for all the platforms are almost same. So here I will look for my domain name like this. As you can see, here are all the available domain names that I can buy. I like this one. So I'll add it to the cart and complete my purchase like this. Before I move on to the next step, this is not an ad. Since you work with websites, I have something cool to share in five seconds. I built a free speed plugin called Airlift, where you can paste your URL and get a 90 plus speed score. Just go to airlift.net and give it a try. Now that we have our domain name, the next step is to get an email hosting solution where we will create our custom email addresses. I'm going to use Cloudflare for this. And the reason I chose Cloudflare is because it has free hosting plan and it's beginner friendly. It's super easy to use and it takes only few steps to connect with the domain. To create the account, open a new tab and search for Cloudflare. This is the website we'll use, so let's click it. I'll scroll down, select the free plan from here and complete the signup process. Since I already have an account, I'll log into it. Awesome, we have our domain name and an email hosting solution. Next, we need to select an email address that will host all the emails that we receive and send out emails to subscribers or customers. You can create a new one for this or use an existing one. This is the email address that I will use as the host email address. Now to make this email active, we need to connect our domain with this email hosting. And to do that, I'll go to the domains dashboard. On the left, I'll click on DNS. Now. We need to replace the domain's DNS servers with the Cloudflare's DNS. Don't worry, it's super simple and we'll do all of this in just few seconds. Let's go to DNS, click on name servers, then go to the name servers tab and we need to replace these with the Cloudflare's DNS. So I'll go back to my Cloudflare account, then I'll add the domain name and complete the process like this. Keep clicking continue till you reach here where it displays the name servers. So. Copy the first name server and go to GoDaddy and paste it here. I'll go back to Cloudflare, copy the second name server, come back and paste it here. Let's save it like this. Awesome, name servers are updated. I'll go back to my CDN account and finish this setup so that I can reach here. Sometimes it can take up to 24 hours to connect the domain name to the Cloudflare account. So goodbye guys, I'll see you next time. Wait, I'm kidding. Let's see how we can set up our business email. So this is my Cloudflare account. And on the left, we have these options like overview, DNS, email settings, etc. Click on email settings. I'll go to the destination address, which is the email address where all the emails are going to arrive. I'm going to use my Gmail address as my destination address. Now to add it, I click here, put down the address and click save. Then I'll go to the routing rules and make sure the catch-all feature is enabled. Next, I'll put down the custom address here, then add the destination like this and click save. This is where all my custom addresses will now show. Then I'll go to the overview to check if everything is active. As you can see, routing status is syncing while DNS is configured. Now, if you want more custom email IDs, then repeat the previous steps because you can create up to 200 email IDs in Cloudflare using the same destination email address. Just make sure that all the features are active once you create a new custom email address. Now that we have everything in place, let's test if it's working properly. So let's open another Gmail account and click on compose. I'll write something here and click send. Then I'll open a new tab, visit my destination email address, open the inbox, and here it is. Now, let's see how we can send bulk emails to our customers using these custom emails. The best online tool to send bulk emails with good customization option is HubSpot because it allows me to send at least 2000 free emails per month using different custom emails. Plus, it's super easy to connect with any domain. So, let's open a new tab and search for HubSpot. Open this website and create an account from here like this. Next, I'll look for domains, here it is. 
select this domain connection option then i'll add my domain here and proceed by clicking here now i need to connect my cloudflare account here so let's go here and click this link and it gives me this pop-up i'll put my cloudflare details here like this next scroll down and click authorize then follow this instruction and complete the authorization process here you will see this notification so repeat the same process with this one as well when you're done with both the authorization it takes up to 60 minutes for the process to be successful and once it's done your domain and email hosting solution will be connected to the email integration service next let's go to our hubspot account by going to the top right here and select profile and preferences let's go to emails and here i need to connect my destination email which is my personal gmail account i'll put my email address here and connect it with hubspot like this authorize hubspot on google like this and it's done the next step is to add custom email ids that we created earlier into the hubspot account so that we can send bulk emails to our customers to do that under marketing click on email option and choose an email type like this next select an email template from here mm, i'll pick this template on the left you can see some options that you can add to your email like images buttons etc if you want to edit the mailbox click here and on the left you can make the edits like this i'll quickly do the adjustments like this once it's done i'll go to settings here it shows my personal name and email address and to change it i'll click here and add my business name like this next in the email address you can see i have already connected one of my custom emails but let me show you how i did it first click on this option then add your custom email address here and click here now we need to verify this custom email so click here and a verification email will be sent to my destination email which is my gmail account so i'll open my inbox here is the verification email i'll open it click here and it's done now i'll go back to my hubspot account and refresh the page and voila my custom email address is now connected with the hubspot using these previous steps you can add all your custom email ids one by one but now comes the interesting part i'll pick an email address that i want to use to send bulk emails then i'll add a subject line and a preview text like this i'll go back to edit remove the text and write the body text like this let's do a quick preview of the email so i have the name the email address the subject the body awesome the email is ready now the next step is to add recipients i'll click on the send option and here you can create a new list and add all your contacts one by one or you can import your contact list first let's create a list i'll click on this option and it will show you the types of list that you can create I will choose this for now. Let's fill out the details. And from here, I can choose active or static. The difference between these two is that active list will update, add and remove email based on the criteria which involves a list of various metrics. Static list on the other hand is neutral and requires manual adding and removing. For better understanding, I will link the article in the description below. For now, I'll choose active list and then click create. Here, we are going to select some filters. So let's search contact in this first section and then select contact properties. In this section, I'll search for a first name as a filter and then search for this filter. Once your list is done, save it like this. Now let's send our first email. So I'll pick a template from here. Then I'm going to add the company logo here and remove this body text. I'll choose the custom email address that I want and fill out all these details like this. Next, I'll use this preview text to write the body of the email like this. And then I'm going to select the email recipient from here. I'll choose the list that I created earlier or even send it to an individual email address. Next, I'll pick this address for now. Here, HubSpot allows me to send emails now or schedule it for the future, which in my opinion is a cool feature to have. I'll select this for now. If you want to import a list of contacts, just click here and upload the list. Great. 
everything looks fine i'll do a quick review by clicking here and i think it looks good so i'll send the email from here like this let's check if i received this email properly so i'll open a new tab go to the inbox here it is i'll open this message and yeah it looks good to me now a common problem that you might face is that email ends up in spam or promotions instead of your inbox. So here's how you can check what percentage of your emails are ending up in spam. So go to your dashboard by clicking the logo. On the left, go to marketing, then select email. Now on the top, click analyze. And if you scroll down a bit, you will see this section called delivery. And here, you will see the spam report rate. So using this metric, you can either change the process of sending your emails or change the content altogether. Because if you don't take care of this, then your domain can get blacklisted by Google. And we don't want that, right? So here are three things that you should keep in mind while writing your bulk emails. Firstly, always avoid clickbaity subject line like this. Make sure it's related to your content and should not sound fake. Secondly, Follow a proper sending practice. Never send all the emails at once. You should start off with sending 50 to 200 emails per day per address and schedule it throughout the day. Thirdly, never use spam triggering keywords like this. They are easy to track and Google can flag you even if it's your first set of emails. So be natural and authentic. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.